Greetings, everyone, and welcome once again to the Book of Genesis, part of the Christ Honoring Commentary series, written by my pastor, Brother James W. Knox, and this is the second printing of the book. The first printing was done in 2004, and this is the second printing, 2005, and this is not in book format right now, but it will be one day as a chapter-by-chapter, verse-by-verse commentary, where this one is a devotional type of commentary, and Brother James has different outlines and topics for each day of the year, and we've come to this side message here as we take a little break um, from the Corn of Egypt uh, messages. And there's four parts of this series of messages. So we'll take a little side trip today as we get into this topic here, this short little topic titled Reuben versus his brothers. So that'll be for today, October 21st. And so we'll get into that here in a little bit. And this book is not available right now, as I said, in book format. But uh, you can get the PDF file on the church website, and I'll give you all that information at the end of the broadcast. But first, I'd like to greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. And he, too, can be your Lord and Savior today if he's not already. And that is the most important thing you can ever do is trust Jesus, believe on him, for he is the way, the truth, and life. No man cometh to the Father but by Jesus. And Jesus said that of himself and John chapter 14 when he's talking to Philip and to all of us when he says that. So, and uh, you must be born again in order to see the kingdom of heaven and enter the kingdom of heaven. Can't climb up your own way. If you try to get up your own way, you're a thief and a robber and God will cast you out because the only way to get to God is through his only begotten son, as I was just mentioning there. And then once you get saved, then he washes away all your sin. And then the Holy Spirit comes and dwells inside of you and separates your uh, soul from your body or flesh, and then that's the circumcision made without hands, a um, uh, operation made by God the Father, and all that. So in the Holy Spirit, so praise the Lord for that. And then once we uh, get to heaven, whether it be by the rapture or by death, we'll get our glorified body. And right now we still have to contend with the flesh and uh, make sure we keep the old man crucified and not um, be tempted by things and. Um, the sins that so easily beset us and all that. So, amen, and learn to be Christ-like each and every day and and uh, serving the Lord and all that. So, amen. And um, so, and brother, uh, both brother um, James and brother David had uh, good lessons yesterday in the church service, and then brother Richard uh, Jacket did a good message from uh, the Sunday school hour. So check those out, and I'll give you uh, the website for that also um, again. And so... We'll do that at the end of the broadcast, but now it's time to get into today's uh, topic titled Reuben versus his brothers from this uh, 21st day of October, and this is on Genesis 42 verse 22, where it says, And Reuben answered them, saying, Spake I not unto you, saying, Do not sin against the child, and ye would not hear, Genesis 42, 22, and then the note here, the brother James writes about this. He says, at this point, Reuben rebuked his brothers and reminded them of what he himself had done. It was a case of weakness, reproaching uh, badness, and was not of any great moral value. Reuben was the unstable one, and it is easy for such a character to say, I told you so, while not having lifted a finger to remove the injustice or right the wrong, right? Hmm. Anybody can make such claims after the deed is done. Whatever misgivings Reuben had at the time of their ill treatment of Joseph, they did not compel him to put himself at risk. Uh, whatever remorse he may have felt later was not strong enough to bring about a confession to his father. But now, when the heat is on, the one with a spirit like water begins to point fingers of blame away from himself and toward those no more guilty than he is. Reuben is the man who would turn state's evidence to save his neck. Reuben is the man who says, yes, I did it, but it's not my fault. Reuben is the man who would cry, but they made me do it. Hmm. Uh, all in all, this is a common but disgusting display of human weakness. <laughs> it sure is, and we're all guilty of doing this at one time or another. I'm 
pretty sure. So there's that note there. And then finally we have this here where it says the whole tone of, or tune of the brethren is, however, very striking in the change which had evidently been wrought during the 20 years in their uh, thought of Joseph. Uh, in the old days, he was scornfully stigmatized as this dreamer, but now he is as, uh, but now he is our brother and the child. The mocking attitude had been changed into at least something of interest and sympathy. Yeah. So that's, uh, that topic there. Reuben versus his brothers. And so let's take heed of thing, these things and don't do these things ourselves when uh, trouble happens or we do something we know we shouldn't have and, and uh, making sure we don't end up doing something like this. So, amen. All right, so that was a good little topic there to learn a lesson from. And tomorrow we'll get back on to Corn in Egypt, Part 4, and I believe this is the final part to this series of messages here, and this is for October 22nd. And then October 23rd, we'll get into this little topic titled Sincere Falsehood from Genesis 42, verse 36. And then on the 24th, we'll conclude with Genesis 42 on this topic of notes on Genesis 42. And then on the 25th, we get into this four-part series of messages from Genesis 43 titled Pressure on Joseph's Brethren from Genesis 43. And there's four parts here. And we'll read the entire chapter on that day. And then on um, that's that's four parts there. And then we will get into Genesis 44 after that on the 29th. And we'll read this series of messages titled Bag or Bags Full of Blessings. And this is how many parts here do we have for this series of messages. So there's uh, four parts uh, to this series of messages. And then on the second wheel, we'll conclude with notes on Genesis 44. And then on the uh, 3rd of November, we'll get into this topic titled After Repentance from Genesis 45. So some stuff to look forward to over the next few weeks. Amen. And that is going to end it for today's little topic. And like I said, tomorrow we'll finish up on Corn in Egypt, Part 4. So if you missed any of these messages here or missed any of the uh, book of Genesis um, um, broadcasts, you can go back and watch them on the playlist on YouTube. And the YouTube channel is Ambassador for Christ Broadcasting or typing in Baptist Bread Broadcast and look me up that way and like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm posting these up on the uh, YouTube channel there. And then you can also uh, watch this on Facebook. And then the Baptist Bread Broadcast is also available to watch <clears throat> both on Facebook and the YouTube channel, and then also um, going and doing the book reading from Gipps' Understandable uh, History of the Bible book. Been reading that again, trying to uh, get through the chapters here. So um, did that started that a long time ago, and still trying to stay um, up to date with that. So you can um, uh, continue to watch those there, and all of them are on a playlist also um, on the YouTube channel. So and again, that's Ambassador for Christ Broadcasting, or typing in Baptist Bread broadcast and look me up that way and like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm posting these up on the YouTube channel there and then to get Brother James's books including the PDF file for this particular book you can go to the church website which is www.jameswnox.org or go straight to the store part of the website which is store.jameswnox.org and look up the books that way and there's also preaching and teaching of God's word both in audio and video format from Brother James and other men that teach and preach the Bible uh, when Brother James is out um, trying to get himself better with this um, treatment he's on and these pills he's taking and all that. So continue to pray for him with this cancer that he's trying to um, get out of his system and pray the Lord would heal him quicker uh, than later. So, And so far prayers are being answered, so pray the Lord for that, and continue to pray for him, and then Sister Lillian, who's been taking care of him, and others that are uh, helping him out with uh, certain things, and all that, so amen, and uh, so that's that, and then the um, YouTube channel for the church um, is James Knox Sermons YouTube channel, so you can find the video presentations there of all the sermons from Brother James and other men uh, in the um, church there that teach and preach God's word, so amen for that. 
And I believe that's going to be about it for today. So thanks for watching, and may the Lord richly bless you until next time. Bye-bye for now. Oh, and also um, pray for the UCF ministry, uh, where we do every other Monday. Uh, so that will be um, taking place uh, today. And so, uh, amen, pray for that. And all those students that we'll be witnessing to and getting tracks out to, that they'll read these tracks and somebody would uh, have a desire to be saved and know that they're uh, not going to be able to get to heaven their own way. So, amen. So pray for, for that ministry um, uh, going on right now as you're watching this. And so praise the Lord for that. And uh, amen. All right. I'll see y'all, Lord willing, next time. Bye-bye for now.